Yo, so I'm about to do my interview with uh, Marissa Romero. She's a super successful affiliate marketer. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, again, I wanna try to figure out what it is people are doing. You know, these self-taught people, what it is, what is the path to becoming successful as an affiliate marketer and what she needed to learn and what she needed to do to get to that. Place. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Chris Romero, uh, online entrepreneur, YouTuber, digital nomad. I love the I love the picture in your background. Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I got this apartment a couple days ago, and it's um, on the 20th floor, and the view is just spectacular. <laughs> the view to the I forget what direction. The better, the best view. I know there's a lot of. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> and one of the things I'm trying to figure out is how people like yourself or whatnot are becoming successful doing this. Yeah, I, after I quit my job as an engineer, you know, I had some cash saved up and I was able to, to hire, you know, mentors and have, get training on Shopify. So I, my learning curve was a little less for learning Facebook ads and, you know, drop shipping. Why'd you quit your stuff. job as an engineer? <laughs> You know, because when you study engineering as a student, it's way different than when you get into the field. It's, what do you mean? Uh, I actually worked for the government, the mm -hmm. Department of Transportation, and it was just a lot of rules, paperwork, regulation, and I'm like, I, dude, I don't see myself doing this till I'm 62. Like, you know, I'm more creative and I can't, you know, I need to, you know, find a way to, to be able to travel because <laughs> that's what I really wanted to do. Um, but it was just different than what I learned in school. It was so, good. It was good money. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was good money for. <laughs> uh, I was. It was at the time when I quit. I was making like eighty five k a year. That's good. So it was. It was comfortable. It was you know, I benefits. You know, the security. It was really scary to let go of that career. There was two things that kind of sparked it. Uh, one was I had had a year of uh, vacation with my family in Europe the summer of 2016 oh, nice. and I, it was my first time to Europe and for me that was a huge eye-opener just because you know being in Europe for the first time and seeing their culture their way of life how they're just living happy the more present mm -hmm. in the moment but also I'm just like geez like they these you know in Europe, they have longer holidays, like three months, four months, and I'm like, I don't understand why in the U.S. our holidays are so short. Like, we get three weeks a year or whatever it is. There's got to be a way to to make money while traveling. And then the other thing that happened the same year was that my grandmother was, was sick, and she's better now, but at the time, it was, I saw my father and my aunt and my uncle you know, struggling to, not struggling, but having to, you know, rotate taking care of her on weekends, and in my mind, I'm like, you know what, I never want to be in a situation where I can't be with my loved ones whenever I want, when I want, and have money to take care of them, and so, therefore, yeah, I just started digging around online, and I'm like, all right, how do we, how do we make money online? You could trade stocks, or you could do all this stuff, how do you decide to to be like, oh, I'm gonna start a Shopify store or whatever. Yeah, so what happened What happened was I first, I very, very first, firstly, <laughs> at this, the first time was introduced to network marketing with mm. Amway, Okay. Right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna build my Amway business. But then that changed very quickly when I was like, oh, okay, well there's, you know, you know, basically network marketing and the online version and um, build the downline and they, you know, you guys, the, the point is to use the products that Amway produces. Like, it was the old school method, like having team oh. meetings in houses. Okay. Um, yeah, it, was just, it just seemed like a real grind once I was like, okay, well, there's, there's the internet. But then I started looking online about researching Amway stuff and then of course, I was like funnelized into another system that was affiliate marketing. They're like, you need leads, you need traffic. I'm like, I need what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's when I, you know, started actually with affiliate marketing. I started with affiliate marketing before Shopify failed because I had no clue what I was doing. I had no clue that I 
you know, needed an email marketing platform. It's like all these weird terms. It's like conversion yeah. rates and leads and traffic and, yeah. you know, like redirects and like what the fuck, yeah. Exactly. And so there was a, in what happened was there was a school in, because at the time I was in Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay. And so there was an internet marketing school that started and they had had a mastermind for the year that taught all, everything uh, e-commerce. And so that was when I'm like, okay, um, you know, I'm, it's got to be a sign. I'm in Scottsdale. And so I went ahead and invested the money. For was that, that Chris so, Record? Yeah, it was Tech Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then I actually started working there. And that's when I quit oh, sure. my engineering job. Um, and then I got, you know, good on my own, so then eventually I just, you know, went off on my own completely and left the 9 to 5, uh, three months after I had started working there. So, um, that brings, that brings us to the middle of 2017 when I quit the 9 to 5, uh, forever. So then... How did, um, how did, uh, how did working for Chris Record help? Like, did that help out a lot? Yeah, I mean, it... Yes, because you're either learning it or you're teaching it to other students. Uh-huh. I'm most, I'm, I would say I'm most grateful for like the network of people that I was able to meet there. Mm. Um, it's an incredible community. I met a lot of, a lot of online marketers and um, other entrepreneurs in the, in the Phoenix area. So it was really cool. Mm. Yeah. Um, so then at the end of 2017, I kind of got... I got burnt out with Shopify and, and drop shipping. Um, it was just, I kept selling products that the vendors were just, they were not fulfilling on time, mm. the, qual- the quality ended up being, you know, trash, and it was, I was having problems with like disputes, claims, and just, it was a big headache, and mm. the cost of traffic with Facebook ads was increasing quite a bit, you know, it was going up, and I'm like, okay, I see where this is going with Facebook ads. <laughs> And it was getting harder and harder to get ads approved and, you know, ad accounts would get shut down. And I'm like, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> I sold my stores. And then um, after that, I'm like, okay. And this was the point when I decided, like, yeah, I'm going to go travel the world. So then, um, just, and that brings us to earlier this year, I was at a, a point, literally, where I had no income. You know, I, had, mm-hmm. I didn't have e-commerce. I didn't have my business now. And I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? So I, you know, created, uh, I tried doing like a webinar to a, you know, to a 997 product. I tried doing a bunch of things, consulting, and it was hard because at the time I was living in Thailand. And um, so finally I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do YouTube (laughs) because I just saw people, I'm like, they had these big channels. I'm like, I know everything that they're talking about. I could do the same damn thing. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did for 90 days. I made a video every single day, no matter what, no matter what island I was on. I'm like, if anything, if one thing gets done today, it's going to be a YouTube video and it's going to get posted. I would say 95% of my income is affiliate marketing. So I promote you know, online business tools and a high ticket affiliate marketing program. And uh, what else do I promote? You know, whenever I do collaborations or something like that I'll promote other people's courses and um, I also get I also get paid with from the YouTube partnership program so I have Google Ads play on my videos yeah. um, and then I do have a course of my own I never officially launched it or I never mm-hmm. even tried promoting it really um, so that I mean that brings me sales um, as well throughout the month um, the next logical step in my mind is to be is to promote products in your niche on the affiliate side and be an affiliate first because it's a great business model because you don't need to create your products up front you don't need to spend money on testing and marketing you know you drive traffic you test it out and see for yourself with other people's mm-hmm. products and when you make sales you don't have to do the fulfillment so i guess that's where i would start it doesn't seem like you can get started just for free or is that correct or no. to me to me no there's really there's no such thing because if I were to go back and create a store I would I would want to be spending 
at least a hundred dollars a day on ads. I mean, uh -huh. minimum, you know, yeah. because you need to, you would need to, I like to duplicate ad sets, duplicate the, the ads, rotate them, blah, 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 and see like which one is working, converting the highest. And if you don't have money to do that, you're there, it's going to take yeah. a long time. You'll probably, you'll lose money up front, more money up front. Yeah. yeah. That's another question I get almost every day is like, I don't know anything or, um, I'm not good at X and I'm like okay well one good thing that I did learn from school and the university even though you know I have a whole video on is college a scam but anyway one good thing <laughs> the university I like that. was that I mean you got to be resourceful like when when you go into a class like when I took transportation engineering mm. you know you don't know anything and so you have to do your research outside and you have to Put the pieces of the puzzle together yourself in order to present in front of the class or to submit a report it's the same thing with your business building a brand providing value being an influencer those things are all intermingled in the same space and i think nowadays like that's 100 percent the best way to make money online make money on social media just get started get whether started. it's one thing you accomplish every day um, or two or three for your business, just mm -hmm. keep going. And um, I think it's important to acknowledge your successes because when you're building your business, you get down on yourself a lot. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna be uh, just people on YouTube. I'm gonna be including links to uh, Marissa's channel as well as, uh, I don't know if there's a way I can grab an affiliate link to her course too. I, if whatever, I'll probably I'll probably throw it down there somewhere. Or whatever, but uh, there's definitely you know there's 100% going to be a link to her channel and whatever else there. And um, make sure to subscribe to guys my channel and message in the comments. It, if if people have a question for you, can 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 uh, they leave it in the comment here and maybe your response. So guys, put in if you guys have any questions for for Marissa on how she's been able to really kind of kind of uh, cut the ties of her job and make, you know, pretty comfortable job. She was making pretty good income pretty young and uh, how she was able to make the leap to having a full-time um, internet business and uh, kind of, her, you know, any questions for her, put it in the comments. Uh, and as always, guys, thanks once again. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit those notifications because I'm going to be doing some crazy ass live streams very soon. And uh, I'm going to be giving away some crazy ass shit. I think you guys know. So uh, make sure you guys are on it. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.